Hello, my name is Clarissa Cervantes, a War II Council member, and I am speaking on Lavanderia. One of the images that stuck out for me was image number one, and you see here graffiti that is on the entrance of the door of the laundry uh, room or the laundry store. And as a, as a street artist and as a muralist, I found it very interesting to see the upside down flag, um, to see the, the tag with the ink running down, and to see the image of people moving inside. And it felt just really powerful, very captivating. Um, makes me feel like I'm standing outside of the building, like I'm there in the space. And I think that's the power of street art and the power of uh, graffiti is that there's a lot of symbolism and a lot of power that comes through messages. And I think that's a lot of what Christina was able to capture here in these images, uh, which really tells a story about a neighborhood, about a community. And uh, in looking through the images, you just, you really feel like you're, you're in a neighborhood. Um, I believe this is supposed to depict East LA. And it, it gives me feelings of a, of a community that's, that's a working class community. Uh, it gives me feelings of uh, a, Latin, a Latinx community. I could see people inside that are, are working and it looks like there's a, a message here of the plight of the worker that I feel coming through as well. And so I, I resonate with the message from coming from a working class family. I think that the images can sometimes make you feel like you're at home or like you're coming home after a long day. And so it was really beautiful, powerful to see uh, how she chose to capture the energy that was moving through the space and uh, found some of these, these examples and these stories to be very powerful. But very grateful for how this was weaved together and shown so that we could witness what other people are living through and experiencing.